What is going back today for you, my friends? This is Ever at Gaming Gear, another premiere of Saturday episode of the Let's Dance Zelda Breath of the Wild. On today, we are officially back in Color Color Bazaar that I want to go on by and show you how we're going to enter to um, get to uh, Gerudo Town. But quickly, look at my rubies I've been selling today. 1,320 already. So we're doing Ever Tats Outstanding today. So I'm pretty out proud of myself because I've been uh, wasting more of my, uh, I think like those bags and uh, all the, um, the undercore stuff, uh, whatever the, um, the stuff that we uh, collect in the shell that I think we on sale today. And uh, further ado, I just gotten uh, using my amiibo to get all five more of my uh, my raw meat. So eventually, let me show you something real quick because I really want to show, uh, let you know because I think like I found something new because eventually since I want to um, see me right now because. It's more than different when the raw meat we got kind of like these and uh, further ado, I have no idea what it is, but eventually you'll hear me out sooner or later. So eventually I'm going to take a half of this acorn. So we're going to waste one and further ado, yeah, I think we're good to go. So eventually I've been uh, selling everything else by, uh, since you're using the, um, simple like, uh, since you're using ember or tote bag, you can, uh, increase it up to more than selling up more than, um, 1,320 because eventually I've been uh, selling a lot more thin today and I pretty much waste more of my yellow choo choo uh, jelly as I used to go and buy and uh, defeat all the uh, all the blobs and the uh, contain one so further ado let's just go back and right now we can go on ahead and um, I don't mind it won't hurt a bite I might might go on and buy some more of those um, you know more of those uh, separate state and then we'll save up more than 100 1,290 so Officially, let's just go on by and go on and talk to this uh, lady up to the rock cliff. So, further ado, let's just get on to it. So, I'm going to make sure you ever touch the like the episode. But, uh, apparently, let me hear you about the story of this. So, here's my story. So, further ado, I have pretty much lost my ever tested su uh, subscriber. Uh, his name is uh, SonicMan78. And he uh, clearly, uh, I don't know, he kind of like quit YouTube or, or whatever he's done for. Because I don't want to go on and buy it and unsubscribe his uh, channel, but apparently I want to keep subscribing because it's not his fault to uh, uh, completely spam. Because eventually I I feel lost for him and feel uh, pretty bad. So eventually I have to tell you guys because Solid Man 78 have not officially arrived yet. So it's going uh, suspiciously. Uh, I'm just going suspiciously then. So what happened? So he, he you're making me cheat, Warren, looking at me like that. Uh, yeah, what's that your baby for? Oh, yeah, it's nice business to say, and I'm sure you agree that these clothes only help me look right. Now that I think you about it, the, the style look, uh, 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 will look quite fashion on you. I had to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rubies? Uh, of course. Let's go on and make a deal. 600 rubies. So we are wasting uh, a little bit much, uh, less more than 690 uh, rubies. Uh, that would uh, be okay with me. So further ado, here we go, you guys. So this is the moment you not have further waiting for. So look how much I dress up like that. I kind of like. <laughs> look, look at Link. You look adorable. Ah. Uh -huh. Just I thought you made me look quite good looking now. Uh, that traditional guru outfit. It's like a strike look around here. I doubt that anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, I breathe so well that it's sure to help me deal with the deadly heat at least a little. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. If you feel to grab something to eat sometimes, you could be in mind. Oh, what happened? What's going on? So, Make sure you wash out for the wind. Oh yeah, you know the wind is sandstorm uh, maybe glass, so if you want to get some uh, more lady clothing, so come back in the time. Okay then, here we are. So the forbidden city entry is fully complete. So now we can spend our way like wisely by using six hundred rubies to go fit into our uh, Guru town. So further ado, I'll be right back because apparently yeah, you guys can see here. That the sand, but the uh, fair hot according down to the meter, that means you won't have enough to uh, waste more of your um, your heart. So eventually, you guys can see in the bottom row at the um, since you were paying attention on the bottom right, because eventually you can save up more uh, time to uh, get past the sandstorm. So I'm trying to read something to get this uh, whatever this thing is. So what is it anyway? Come on, come on, can I take it? Okay, I'm trying to press A. So I got the bolt fruit. Okay. 
So I'll take just one vote for and further ado, I'll be right back. I want to stay away from that uh, skeleton dude, so I don't want to get too close to it. So there should be more of those uh, vote fruit somewhere that we're not exactly looking for. So further ado, be right back, you guys, and further ado, split ahead. All right, you guys, I have officially made it here to um, Gerudo Town. So right now, let me talk to you, this guy, Bengal. If eek, I love a young lady, just my type. So fine. Uh, wh what? No, 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 no! Of course not! I I'm just investigating. Hmm, this enchanting feels incredibly familiar to me. Well, nah, we're not gonna officially say something stuff to him. Not rude about it, but eventually, let's just be uh, respectful of going and uh, picking into uh, Gerudo Town. So, further, let's just see what they say before we enter. So, okay, cool. So, now let's just go on and talk. So, we're forbidden city and she's officially completed. So, that's good to know. So, shut up. It's a guru time. How about the largest tra uh, trade he hub? Only vinyl permitted entry within the uh, walls, and we're constantly on alert for anyone who looks suspicious. Sorry, I'll buy. So, not buy, buy. Uh, bite the bottom lip as you say it. It translates to woman in your language. So uh, long as we're on a subject balance, we word a word for man. If you plan to stay a while, you'll do well to learn the language. Okay, then we just done talk now. Okay, because there's a lot to be um seen here. Because if we can uh, use 690 rupees to go on and buy all these useful stuff that you easily see. So, Savao, so uh, even with the divine beats out there making me bust a little buy, like you just stole into town, you done well so to make it to Gerudo Town. The chief keeps saying that everything is going to be okay, but thinking about the divine beast makes me so uneasy. The chief? So this town is led by the uh, fantastic chief Lady Rajal. When we came, she became the chief after her mother or, or old chief passed away. Well, young Lady Rajal, our, our old chief's only child, so natural uh, the duties of leading the Gerudo fell to her. But there have been other troubles on top of the divine beast acting violently. I hear it what had the chief and her advisor pretty worried. Okay, so let's just say goodbye and quickly get on to it. So, well, I'll just try to keep my spirit up. Maybe this is a uh, canteen, then get a good night's sleep. Okay, then uh, I don't know what canteen is, so eventually, let's just go on right ahead and uh, quickly see what kind of people they want to talk to. So, huh? This is not a sensory shop, isn't it? I don't see any accessories on display. Are they not open yet? Okay, so I don't see a wire part. Not they're not open. So let's just go and solve this uh, lady's quest. So I had to do something. So oh, great, you got the last of the three times uh, with the back greeting. Uh, what's the matter? So I made it to a shop that specialized in, in the handmade accessories, but I ran out of flint. I needed it to make it in my items, okay? If only I had 10, just 10, if some kind of buy will me, give me 10 pieces of flint, I would, uh, could offer a nice reward. I could dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. Accessories? I use ruby, uh, sapphires, and other games to make accessories. Each game type has its own power that is can transfer to other, whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do about it not having any flint, though. So here is the next quest. So tools of the trade. So that's the next quest, but we're, we're not gonna be solving just quite yet. So I'm sorry that you came all the way to see me for nothing. Okay. So what is um the two of the t uh, trade saying now? So Isha, he said Isha the jeweler is in a bind. She ran out of flint. She needs to keep making her accessory. She said that she can uh upon her story and bring her ten pieces of flint. Alright, so pretty neat. So we'll go on and solve her quest just about later because there's so much stuff to, to see here. So, oh, it's a ball. That beast sounds pretty really tricky to master. I feel like I got their spell. Okay, um, what else? So we're just still spawning around. So what are these? Oh, mushrooms? We can go on and uh, sell some mushrooms. Okay, so pretty neat. We can go and buy some mushrooms. What is it? The iron shroom? No. We already got the iron shroom. I already got the razor shroom. The sun shroom. The zap shroom. Actually, um, I don't mind a bite. I'll take the zap shroom. So, how much is it for? 60 rubies? So, yeah, deal. I'll take more than 60 rubies. And if I were to do, how much? So, how much is it for uh, chill shroom? I might take some more chill shroom. I'll be my guest. I'll take 60 of them. So, we're still up to 658 rubies. We should have more to spend them on shopping. So, eventually, what is it? So, raw salt? It's raw salt. Take the lies, uh, salt from the uh, Asian sea, com commonly used to see in meal. Cannot be eaten in this form, okay? So what is it? Uh, the banfa wheat. Okay, the grain is uh, cultivated intensively or like, you know, the uh, cleansed. 
It's grown finally with a milestone. Milestones can be used for cooking. Use it to make things such as stew or in bread, okay? Uh, for the so it's the Highland Rice. The Garen is a favorite among residents of uh, the Kakako village. It's grown in the region with a lot of water and a quite a uh, versatile truck or whatever. The saddle, okay? Use that as ingredients to make things like uh, soto, sato, and rice balls, okay? So I haven't um, hard suggested or whatever the word of name is. So eventually, I'm not even like a uh, fast food uh, suggestion what it is, but eventually, what I'm supposed to do is probably let me put that down. Okay, I just accidentally dropped it. Sorry about that. So what is the name anyway? Some sort of kitchen room, a uh, kitchen house. Oh uh, no, this, this is just a house. I can tell the, the, the facts about it. So further ado, we should have a uh, nice plan of time to uh, enter down. So. Right now, we're on our way to be going around here. So let's take a look around and see. Go. So, can I walk you through water? I don't mind. Mind a bike. Let me go and walk through water. And I see some one villager just uh fifty standing here on uh, somewhere else. So this is about. For sure, a lot of hiding coming by today. This is the home of the chief of the Gerudo. It is my duty to make sure that no, no one's suspicious of interest. Do not distract me from my job. Okay, I'm not a Gerudo. Can I, uh, can I go in? Can I? So, we're busy! It's an emergency! Authority is our personnel only. That's what I would say if I had my way, but the chief is a kind person. She told me to, to allow visitors. If you want to go inside, but be my guest. But if you say and even one rude thing to the chief, you and my spear will have a very personal conversation. Alright, I will not let that happen again. I promise you that, so... What is it, ma'am? Uh, madam? Uh, as you can see, I am busy gathering information. Huh? Information? Madam, don't tell me you don't know, know who I am. Huh? Okay, no way! You've never heard of Rumors Mill anywhere? Or, mm, I heard of it, so... Never heard of it. What huh? about? Are you kidding me? Well, you, you could say you've never heard of Rumors Mill, Root Highway, most popular news publication? You, you might be lying. Actually, I know who you are. I am an award-winning investigate journalist at all. Trust that you can hide anything from ties, traces, traces, but what is you have to you can do is talking about. So hey, now, get the wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more with conviction. Okay. Trust is, um, uh, truth, uh, what is it? To see and herself on the mail. I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading the woman's mail. I take pride in my work. Okay then, no need to talk to this guy, so what uh -huh. she said, so ow! I, I finally found a bow of my jeans, and I just let me marry him. I thought I had fully, uh, finally found her happiness. So but uh, then, my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that I can say to him is the uh, Innar or the uh, Moldaga, or whatever you say, but I would, uh, okay, so, uh, let me start all over. So I will never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked for soldiers to for help, but they said they were serious issues. But a uh, deal with the was uh, they say that you had no more time to my uh, plight. They turned me away. But then why wouldn't they? A uh, Moldova is a menacing beast, not for whose face an escape unchecked. So perhaps it's a foolish to the sap of anyone to stick their necks out for a stranger. I thought I finally got out of this uh, town. Never thought I had to come crawling back. So what is this Mo uh, Moga? Uh, whatever I'm pronouncing right. So the Moga is a monster terror so savage that even only other monsters won't approach it. It's already been uh, by the west of it. Here is uh, uh, Taruma Dunes and in the south. It's a very sedentary vibration and it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even move uh, near it. And you uh, can, can't use someone as that bait. So what am I to do? Okay, so that's his quest or whatever we're not even stick this on, just not yet. So talking to this guy, so so now we got a lot of vision uh, visitors today. The chief may be young, but she the kind of leader who puts her people first. She told me to allow visitors through uh, with a tough time lately. Hey listen, even though I let you inside, that doesn't mean you can go and get them in the street away. Watch out. Tough times, I so this is the guru problem it is none of your concern. Okay, so eventually, let's just get on to it because I almost forgot the sound of the story because eventually, let's just keep that in mind, we'll understand that in, in the future. So eventually, what is this? Oh, a bomb arrow? 20x? A bundle of bombs arrows. 
Uh, exploded powder, um, Pat, the tip of these arrows ignites on and Pat dealing big damage to anything caught in the blast. Man, that's a lot of money. I have 600 rubies, but I'm not freaking wasting 58 of them, so we're not gonna do that. So, what this is called 140, and this is the, um, shot uh, arrow, 10 uh, times, uh, arrow. So, there's a bundle of 10 shot arrows. Shot arrow break apart on impact channeling electricity to nearby objects, very effective against metal and moisture. Okay, pretty neat. So I might go on and take uh, ten more of these uh, ice arrows. Like, where did you mine? Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. But right now, here we go. So this is a fire. I already read that already. Five more of these arrows. I'm not gonna go on and take. But I'm like, man, this is man. We got so much food here. Okay, what is this? Uh, a sheer prime steak. I'll take one of that. We'll take 58 of them. So we just wait like uh, a little bit much more than 58. So. Further ado, let's just go on ahead and explore um, this shop around here. So I might as well go on and take some more of those uh, hydro melons. Or, hold up, so I don't want to take some more of those hydro melons. We don't need those. Or, nah, it won't bite. It won't bite. I, won't, I might go on and take it. How much is it? Oh, the heart of the Ryan? Okay, I, I want to go on and use that. Um, eventually, this fruit of mighty order has earned the nickname the king of fruit. The fur of immense uh, restorative uh, power that you put them with it will temporarily increase the maximum hearts. Okay, uh, I might take more. Then, uh, how much could we take? So, free can uh, cause 180 rubies. Yeah, we might go take it. So, how much am I wasting? 420? Uh, no, not a problem. We'll take three of them. And further ado, I might as well go on and take some more of those hydro melon. I might as well take uh, two more. I don't mind a bite, so I will take 32, and we should save enough more than 388 just for shopping. So this will take more than um, I don't mind a bite. We can go and take um, three more of bolt fruit. So we're gonna take 48 um, by wasting uh, 340 rubies. We should have no problem with that. And uh, further ado, how much we got here so far? We got five more of these all uh, bolt fruit, and we got three of each uh, hearty drain in case we are run out of cold or hot heat. So. Eventually, two sure steak and one of us sure prime steak. We should sure have saved enough of those, and I think we're good to go, man. So these are the materials that we should be uh, collecting so far. Since we are run out of hunger, so let's just try to keep that in mind because we still do not want to go on and uh, use the old shirt and the uh, wear worn trousers because it's just the same thing what happened. If you ever go and buy and uh, put on your um, you see what I'm doing? Equip that, you see, or if you want to go on uh, remove that, you see. They will recognize you, and look what happened. Huh? See, sound the alarm. Yeah, see, see what happened. You want to keep that um, costume on because it looks good on you. Because you cannot go to Garuda Town if you have your uh, mask on and your uh, Garuda uh, costume on. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened. Bad things happen. People are gonna talk trash on you, and you you, not, you don't like that. Okay. All you gotta do is fit in. Wear your uh, disguise and uh, fit in. Don't let them uh, see you. So let's just go on and put on our same, uh, same old, same old stuff that we fit this in. And let's just get on to it. So I'm just showing it to you guys, making sure you don't get caught by the uh, guards. So just to, just to be aware of that. So further ado, let's just go on and explore around because there's so much to do around here. We could go on ahead and uh, still use the iron sledgehammer because eventually, do I have enough room for it? Yeah, I should have more of those uh, Liz, uh, Lazar Fort Bummering because eventually I've been collecting more of those weapons. I wasted one of the, um, eventually the, the spear that I picked to use for the, uh, the, the monster that I defeated. And I've been um, tackling this, um, the, the skeleton guy, the moblins, and uh, catching an arm. And further ado, this is the, uh, the item I picked up so far. I picked up two already. This is called the Lazar Fort Bummering. It's a blue Lazar Falls. It's a part particular, uh, like the weapon. It has one more, one more blade than the Lazafo uh, Boomerang to give an additional cutting power and it still returns when thrown. Okay, pretty interesting to see how it does. So eventually, I'd like to see that and actually what it does. So, uh, further ado, I don't have enough uh, room to uh, fit up more of my um, stuff I need. So, let me get rid of the word cutter that so I really don't need that anymore. So, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to take the iron sledgehammer and we're going to officially use that. So, hopefully, I want to go around and uh, see what we can do. So, these are the sand he, uh... What have you caught? So, what are, what are you doing around here with sand seal? So, so, so wow. the sand seal here were, were all trained by uh, by Frally. They're faster than they wake up for you to return to them. 
by comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just out run off the moment when you dismount. It's definitely worth letting a trained one. Bradley put her heart into training them. Bradley trained the sand seal using in the sand seal races to, of course, sand seal races? Uh, the sand seal races are a Gerudo tradition. It's pretty simple. You use the sand seal to race around a course to see who's the fastest. Just go out to the southeast gate of the town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? Okay, man, I see the problem. So, what's inside here? So, I can be invited by seeing what's around here. So, further ado, let's just uh, get out of here. And hopefully, let's just go on and um, take a look around this place. So, hopefully, what's, the, what's down here? Oh, I don't mind a bike. Uh, let me, what's, what's this one? Okay, so I don't see that problem. So, we're here, fellas. So, is out? Oh, that's what he says, falls out. <laughs> Alright, so now, if you are hoping to cross the vast Gerudo Desert Sand Seal, suddenly is a way to do it. It's only 20 rubies to rent, one needs a shield too. Just pay 50 rubies, what do you say? Um, Sand Seal, seriously? Let's seal the deal, or how do I get sealed? Uh, no, seal, we'll seal you later, okay? We don't want to do that. We don't, we don't have the time to keep wasting more rubies, because we want to save up rubies in order to, uh, you know, and to, to quickly see what we can do around here. Because I like to keep this new uh, costume that I got on land because it looks good on him. And I, I like, pretty much like it. And hopefully, what is this um, old lady over here? So, so now, because she's pretty acting like an old teenager. I cannot tell why he's laying down on the ground like that. So, what about doing here? Ah. So, surprise! You might be able to fool all the others by around here, but you won't be fool me so easily. Don't worry, bro. It doesn't matter much to me. What do you do? But since you came all the way back here, maybe you um, like to stay a bit much and chat. Oh, uh oh, the goddess um, statue had been here since long before I e was even born. No one here really believes in the stuff anymore, bro, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me, but someone had to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. So he he is such a treat to chat with about again. Will you rumor me a little bit longer? The goddess statue? Or uh, even left the town. So what is exactly the God statue? Or oh, the God statue have been here since long before I was even born. No one's here really believes in the stuff anymore. Both so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone had to keep the God statue company. So here I am. Hee <laughs> hee It's such a treat to chat with Ibao again. Will you humor me a little bit longer? So ever left the town? So have you do that before? Oh, I may not look at now. But I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty too. It was a rare thing for Val not to notice me coming to the room, but I have a fairy tale uh, notion in my mind. I hear that the love upon, and I find and meet my true love there. I travel all across Hyrule searching for the, this fabled place, uh, but I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I grown old. The Val no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad before it's a long time ago, and I keep uh, chase my dreams. Hee 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 hee. It's such a treat to chat with you again. Okay, well, goodbye. No need to chat with her because eventually we get uh, solve a lot of this question. But right now, let's just go on ahead and uh, officially take a look at what objective that we have to go and solve people's quest. So, we already know we saw we complete the price of Maraca that we did to Hestu. But there are so many quests that we can go on and solve each uh, two people. So, the mission is Ashen. Oh, that's why we uh, talked this to Sami. So, this is Garuda Town. We need to go on and solve. And further, what is that, Melinda? So Melinda's husband has fallen ill. He needs the uh, guts of the uh, Moga. It's order to get better, but Moga is a furious monster that sends it in a slightest vibration. In an attack, anything that comes near it. The woman desperately looking for help, but nobody seems capable. But I don't know what's capable about it or what Moga is uh, officially is, but eventually, let's just go and see two of the trade. And officially, um, she said that you can respond and start burning 10, ten pieces of flint. Okay, so I, I think I have flint. Let me check on to my inventory and see how much I got for the flint. So, check on with materials. Um, duh, 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 duh. Okay, I have like three flint already, so I don't have ten. So, further ado, let me just see what the adjustment that you can do right just about now. So, we need like at least ten pieces of flint. So, eventually, I have no idea what when to get in ten flint, but I'll keep looking to see where more flint are, are is. Okay, there's still a lot more to do than exploring around. Uh, Hyrule, okay, 
So just to keep that in mind, we're gonna go on ahead and uh, around here and uh, take a look around this place. So further ado, let's just go um tucking under this uh, tunnel over here. So what are you doing? Okay, nothing. So yeah, I know you're so sleepy. I don't care about it. So apparently, let's just see. So it's a lot of stuff to do. I see. Uh, I was over there for the full time. I felt strange that the sandstorm over there. I named Lift. Okay, hmm? Huh? And what in a highly invited like yourself doing here? What are you doing? So I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just pointing over some Asian tests that I discovered the other day. And I finally discovered it! Or part of it at least, but the rest is not far off. With the discovery, I finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Of course! You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been once a question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of the research. My research is you keep, keep, can keep it a secret. There's a temple east of the, here near uh, the entrance of, uh, to the Garuda Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statue of the hero, uh, heroine, uh, say to be the divine protector of the Garuda. It was at the temple that I originally uh, discovered the ancient scripture uh, it reads, when the symbol of the, the seven spine, uh, the place of the blessed path will be revealed. But all I've been able to decipher so far, I believe that people once came from around the world in search of the Hironi blessing. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone ha have found it yet. Blessing? So I'm not sure what exactly it means, but maybe it, I'll find out once I decipher more about the text. So I'm not sure if this is related, but it's they say the Hironi uh, held power there that were part of the bigger whole. These higher only uh, had a different power, skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. I should understand an entire script for long, but that's only the beginning of my problems. The divine bees have been moving around the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. That thing has no respect for uh, academic media. Okay, so the seven uh, higher only, whatever that means. Because I think that I kind of saw this temple, so what is this little girl talking about? Oh, you're for the four vow sabal. See, night at the night, the voices of the people in the uh, can't enter, um, come, come right in my, the one my window, they're uh, super loud. If she, you shall sure understand the window, you can hear everything they're saying. When I grow up, I'm always going to speak in a quiet voice, even if I'm having a real great time. Okay, uh, good luck with that. And I'm trying to go on around because there are still much more stuff to do around here. So let's just go on um, around this place and uh, solve people's quests around here. So, uh, further ado, I need to check. This is where we're at. So I believe we should be uh, going this way. So before we uh, move on to talking to the chief, let's just go on ahead and uh, see what's there. So, uh, further ado, let me go on ahead and uh, split and see what everything I can solve around here. So, eventually, it won't be taking me that long to do it. So, see you ahead. A class is absolutely critical for me. I try to cook up some great meal, but I only ever make uh, debilious food. Debilious food, or when you're cooking, if you add insect or monster material, you'll end up with, with uh, debilious food. Debilious food, or whatever it means. But you ask me, but nothing debilious. Uh, about how absolutely indivisible it is. Alright, so whatever she's saying. So what's this um, hot lady saying? So, oh, are you interested in taking my class ball and you? In uh, Amishia. I'm um, uh, Isha. Okay, so during the day I teach a class on the ball in the world. And at night I teach cooking classes. Why did you join us? Uh, no, not exactly. Well, we should be going. So, further ado, I want to go ahead and um, enter um, up here where we go on and see the chief. So, eventually, let's just get on started. And further ado, let's just go on and talk to her. So, here we are. So, what on earth is she now? Okay. Little job. Uh, Virgola. So, he's a Gerudo chief. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Seems you have something rather interesting there. Okay, I'm interested to see the look of her because eventually I like her when she uh her vision of the, uh, the chief. It looks uh it's just, it's gonna be pretty on her, but eventually you stand before Lady Vidal, chief of the gorillas, declare your business and but come no closer. Hold on, uh, Belera. This one appears to me be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? 
Link, of course. Uh, I'm here with Hyrule, so Link. And what if you come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the bars. You think you have what it takes to do something so powerful as a divine beast? The only one who could ever control it there um, were champions like Lady uh, Urboza and all other champions died in the calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. hmm. Valeria, Mary just jumped onto my head, something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordman into a deep sleep. With so much, much like our new friend here, when name Link, bro, it's always seemed to be more legend than fact. But Lady Rosal, did you know go? Well, the same story, but not also the same, but uh, that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword. I see no such weapon in a per person care. They do indeed, if I recall correctly, but it was called the sword that sealed the darkness. The prince of Hyrule supposedly hide away in the forest somewhere. Mm. One of the device of the wand's hip. It appeared to be a precious relic of a Sheikah. I can't imagine where he would give something so valuable to a simple drifter can you. I don't remember even uh, hearing of a Hylian by among the champions. Uh, wait a minute, wait a moment, your boy! The boy was in our war is a great crime by a boy who is a champion. Well, we never mistreated in front of Lady Rosa, and if you, uh, you're here to help us with uh, the war, uh, when we, uh, then we are allies. Huh? Uh, you saw it on your way to our town. Divine beat now and the boys are cool up. Fuck is a massive circle hurling lightning at who, any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it, but we uh, have yet to find any uh, way to appease the divine beast on your own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter the boys and call it anger. Mm. Lady Rodal, I don't see how you can't trust a complete, complete stranger with something that is important as this test. But having this person were first to prove his worth by discovering her the stone for the helm. Mm. Uh, yes, an interesting suggestion. Uh, you see, there is only one thing uh, in all of the Hyrule can, that can uh, withstand uh, the lightning from the bars. The front of the helm is family Harlem and the red up as a Gerudo. But as uh, Billy Blair uh, says, it was stolen from me us. You need, needn't worry, Lady Rizal. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy test for him. Oh. I sort of can tell you all you need to know about the thief who stole Lady uh, Rizal Harlem. Head through this arch, it will, will lead you to the dark barrack. I've been seek out Captain uh, Teak and uh, Tiki and ask for a full report. <laughs> or Tika, whatever this, um, I'm not even translating that word right. So, without her, my, uh, her long, uh, you'll never be able to approach the bar. <laughs> Heh, you know. I think I'm having such a rare visitor as yourself. Mary Rosa must be uh, looking out for you. Or looking out for us, or whatever I'm not pronouncing right, but nah. Divine Beast about the bars. Okay, here we go. So, further ado, we're gonna go on by, and yeah, we already know because we had to go on in uh, I think it says here on our objective for today on Divine Beast about the bars. So, the leader of the Garuda, Lady Rizal, asks for your help, help me uh, come Quinn, Divine Beast about no bars. Okay, and it says here on the second uh, column, before you can uh, confront the Divine Beast, the Garuda needs help recovering the chief Herlum, which uh, have been stolen. Cut it, uh, TK. Um, to get in the soldiers of uh, Barak with the latest information on the feed. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in case I don't miss the Herlom, if I'm right, because that's okay with me, because I just set my destination right where I want to go. So, that is what I want it to be, because we don't want to go on ahead and uh, solve our quest, um, right just about now. Because, uh, further ado, we don't want to go and, uh, go into Garuda Town and, uh, solve the all the uh, the seven high own because we really don't want to go and do that just quite yet because eventually um yeah i think that would be it you guys so we've been uh quickly gotten to uh gerudo town and problem solved we've been having 600 rubies to go on uh, wear our costume to get to it so apparently that'll be it you guys on this uh ever touch episode so if you enjoy right now ever touch like the episode share it to a friend and subscribe and help reach our supporter of my goal to 119 to 130 subscribers I really want you guys to help do that as you're watching the video right just about now, okay? And help uh, reach your views up in case you're watching this. Give me 10,000 people watching this right now in case I want to get my uh, advertising video to work, okay? And further ado, make sure to link the description below. Make sure you follow these six steps to help you get started in the video. 
Spotify, follow me guys on Google and Twitter and Patreon. Much more support my channel and my content if you guys are watching my video as being advertising as subscribers, okay? You just making sure you don't forget that, alright? So uh that's me you guys. So if you are new to my advertising episode, why not? Go on and advertise and subscribe me on my right hand side, just my now. And go on to my left hand side and watch the live people episode. I have not seen a lot more people watching the, the live people episode. I want you to go on by and check that one out. And we'll talk to you guys next episode of the Lessons of the Breath of the Wild. Take care.